Panzer IV cannot fight that by itself, especially with Jackson's support. Uh, Rakad Murfer does get, does get a few shots on target. I don't think, yeah, no. Comet, though, is too fast to, for it to handle. Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17 starting off a 12 hour live stream where I subject myself to all sorts of stuff to hopefully raise money for a good cause, but we shall see. Right now we got a number of players duking it out with uh, Mr. Gandalf, Sauerkraut, Genesis, and AMX versus Weeb, uh, Qlar, Metro Boomin, and Hawaii. Two Brits, an American, and a Soviet versus two OKW and two Austere. This is submitted uh, by someone in the community, so if you would like to submit a replay submitted to my GMO or Discord down below. Anyway, 4v4 the end forest, the major areas of conflict are going to be, of course, the forest area, the more wide open train station, and the city area. Now, Sauerkraut has already gone with a doctrine that kind of focuses on the close combat, but so too have the Brits. The Brits have gotten themselves the assault infantry section and a mortar, which again, you need that doctrine specifically uh, lend lease to get those things, but hey, they got them, and now they have a good counter for a lot of the German forces, like this MG. MG section trying to hold this position, and smoke is dropped on the MG with mortar fire coming down. The assault entry section are hitting that position and moving on in. Kubel and lower on a third, but again, so far... Oh, now they're focusing on the MG. MG got out of the building. Interesting. Because, I say interesting just because of the fact that technically neither unit had a effective counter for the MG in the building itself rather than the mortar. And if you would have waited a few seconds, the infantry support probably could have helped wear down the infantry from range, but that's just me. Anyway, we also got ourselves vesting support, uh, armor doctrine, so a lot of fortifications and big guns that you can make. Uh, Genesis is going overwatch, so maybe a goliath? But right now, he is definitely turning tail and running. After a successful counter via Metro, who also went Lindley. So a lot of Lindley's this game, but it makes sense. This can be very, very good infantry at the early on. The counter to this would be light armor. Uh, 222 is still susceptible to small arms, but it could do well against this. More likely a Panzer II is what you would use to counteract this infantry. If, especially if the enemy doesn't have AT. We have M oh, MG and more assault infantry section uh, just surrounding this Grandier that... Pushed up really far? If Okay, if your entire flank is falling, maybe don't advance, but I don't know. What what do I know? If G section kill the units on their long retreat, uh, bring them down to one model. Will it be enough to murder him is the question. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like everything is generally fine with that retreat, so pretty positive. Uh, let's see right now. Uh, Volk. And stir moving on in. Uh, looks like another unit has died thanks to the assault infantry section with an MG. Very cool. Um, let's see. Assault oh, infantry section. Sorry, with the uh, not MG Thompson. I I almost said LMG, but that's not correct. The Thompson, everyone's favorite. Riflemen are in standby. Let's see what else do we have. Hawaii went to Soviet shock army. Nothing too out there yet. Just base conscripts, but has built cover for his British ally. So again, pretty solid stuff there. On the far side, German forces are slowly pushing back and taking this area. They are taking back more of the forest. And middle is still uncontested. So neither side is really hemorrhaging a lot of VP. Sure, the Germans have a small lead, but it's not that instrumental, right? It's not huge. It's only about 40. So again, that could be easily taken over in a minute if you hold a majority of the VPs. On the far side, we have the SOMG section pushing in. Pants Grandiers, Grandiers, and Grandiers should technically have advantage if in good cover. But alas, because they're literally in a creek, they're not going to do all that well. They're just going to die. And as we can see here, the squads were successfully pushed back. But uh, luckily, we here have Genesis over here trying to come in to help his team. And uh, sure, yeah, I mean, it's... It's enough to push back the, you know, Metro Boomin's infantry, which makes sense. He had two squads versus five, but he still has additional infantry section coming on in. And you still have all the Soviet forces, including a nice demo. <sighs> okay, so maybe, maybe uh, Soviets uh, wired that wrong. Uh, yeah, that's why we don't allow troops with 
basic experience to uh, wire demos. They may put the wires wrong and accidentally detonate it. Uh, but, you know. Uh, as the Soviets recover from their own self-inflicted wound, and I don't think they can hold with due to the fact they blew up their own men. Uh, grenadiers and possible... No, no no flamethrower troops as of yet. But I would definitely get flamethrower troops. Well, once you get more munitions. Actually, you need more men. Mr. Gandalf, where's... Okay, you're getting Panzer Grenadiers. I was like, what? what's going on here? Anyway, uh, we got Weeb getting out again more assault infantry infantry up to the front with infantry section backing him up um are you upgrading yet did you up okay you did but no at gun or anything like that interesting the germans again don't exactly have a lot of infantry In i'm sorry not infantry armor they don't have anything like that so maybe at isn't necessary we don't flamethrower unit and multiple volk squads uh no mp40s as of yet because again those are not too expensive but i mean they're they are cheaper than your basic unit so, I'm surprised we haven't started seeing more of those. Honestly, they just need to hold the resources a bit better. But, the British are slowly uh, forcing back the austere. Making the, whatever the austere can provide. And most of the OKW's forces in need to really counter him. Volk squads get in the building. That way they can counter fire. Or just keep walking around. That works too. I'm just saying, there's four windows right there. It's a great vantage point. Instead of charging without cover. But, what do I know? Both squads flank and push the unit back. On the far side, Grandiers are slowly advancing. It looks like uh, managed to inflict some... Uh, sorry, had some losses inflicted upon them. MG and Conscript still coming on in with Engineer. And Hawaii does successfully hold on to this territory. Barely, but he does. AMX, though, uh, realizing the situation, decides to start pumping out more... Um, I guess or the ability to pump out more resources with a cargo truck, which could be very good. Again, you can place them down behind your lines near the major points and get additional resources to help things counter. Ronnie, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, very kind of you, good sir. Eight months. Anyway, uh, you're tuning on in. We got uh, German infantry healing up near a medical facility, Panzer headquarters. Separating them a little bit more for your facilities. Ah, oh, thank you. But yeah, separate your facilities more so you don't, you know, get bombed into submission. The Germans do have to fear about, uh, act, uh, sorry, allied direct strikes as one the 152 is likely, as well as time on target and priest fire. So again, separate your guys so you don't have artillery, possibly uh, cross-firing two different buildings. Anyway, flamethrower unit doing a lot of work, uh, 12 kills, and grenadiers as well. So pretty positive stuff all around. Grenadiers uh, holding on to the building, flamethrower unit moving on over. So, very cool. Let's see. Okay. Uh, mortar being pushed back. Meanwhile, Volk squads grabbing the territory over here. We have defensive line uh, set up ready to go with an AT gun. So, I guess just brought that up as it, it hasn't fired or hasn't got any uh, veterancy yet. Or any points toward it. Conscripts in good cover should easily at least delay the Germans. I don't think they'll necessarily win with two Grenadiers and a Panzer Grenadier plus all the Volk. Oh my god, that's a lot of infantry. And I think this infantry section might have a bit of a cons issue. Um, but one positive is the assault infantry section is now coming on in. And if he throws some grenades, specifically especially about one grenades, which is white phosphorus, I think he'll be in for he'll be in for a good time. Throws grenade, Volk squads do dodge, but again, he has another squad and looks like it was just enough. Actually, a lot of the infantry retreated before they even, well, they lost the model. So maybe he could have kept them in the fight longer and maybe prevailed, but he decided to pull all of his forces back after losing his Sturm. And again, he has almost a Dutton, but now that's fighting by itself. So yeah, forced, it seems like the Soviets and the Brits in this case are holding where the city, more of a mixed bag. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, so we have a half track with an assault officer inside i guess the idea is close range combat um sure Let, let's do a world war ii drive-by why not an officer car but the problem with this is the fact that a they have already have an at gun again looks like mr gandalf actually got a pack gun to hold the line and b they as much as i like the assault officer it, it's not like the instant killer that like rangers with thompson's or shock troops or something like that where it's so deadly close range that it just murders infantry very quickly it's it's it doesn't have that it's in my opinion so yeah i feel like this may not prevail as much as much as they may like um but we'll see hey maybe he gets a squad wipe and i'm wrong 
Uh, don't they have mid-range DPS? They do, but I just don't find the DPS they normally have, especially if they get close, enough to straight infantry um, as quickly as some other units, right? Like, wow, okay. AMX uh, complaining that his suicidal charges are not working. It's like, uh, you know, you did kill some men right here. So I don't, I don't know what you're complaining about. Um, again, you're dealing with a entrenched Soviet position and you have no mortars. And you have a officer designed to assist mortar fire and uh, other things. Good mine right there. But yeah, no, I, I, I find that kind of frustrating. Anyway, let's double check here to see if I'm right or wrong. The assault officer only has three kills so far, and after that track got fousted. Um, Panzer Grand Deer pretty low, just being shredded by some 1919s. Great shot from the rifleman in that building. 1919s again, shred from range. That's the stuff that's super long range that can absolutely dish out the damage. Incendiary's thrown, but again, even the rear echelon was given a 1919. All right, they everyone's get, being given uh, long range LMGs to really counteract the allies. All right, or sorry, Axis. Flamethrower unit though, counteracts the allies and burns them out of the building while we have the half track coming back in. Again, let's see if this thing can be a clutch. Uh, it's running around, but again, it's just not there. Okay, he's just knocking the kills. Maybe he can focus or they bring in the artillery here. Grand Ears retreating, focus on them. They, at least they got that kill, okay. Oak squad is retreating with the Sturm. Artillery, though, come on in, retreat. Oh, oh, it hits the pack gun directly. Does not kill it. Does hurt the Grandier squad, though. Trying to heal the half track. Rashlons perish. Hey, that's a free 1919 for the Germans, maybe. Uh, Thompson forces, though, coming on in. Assault infantry section will not let those forces grab that LMG, so they will hold. Oh, Thing One, thank you very much. I just saw your donation. We'll do the spins at the end of this replay. So thank you very much. Very kind of you, good sir. Um, it did not pop up. I do apologize. I will reset it and see uh, if I can get that operational for a display. So again, apologies. But I want to make sure you get counted for that. But thank you. Um, anyway, uh, so pack gun moving on, on up. We have the major as well uh, with vet two. By the way, pretty good because I'll call an artillery at a good uh, at a faster rate. So hopefully that can help counter this stuff. Rifeman moving on in as well. Flamethrower unit on standby. Let's see. Captain uh, takes a hit from the Kenworfer, but luckily okay. It's more the expression of the NG that's causing all sorts of havoc. Let's see. German forces with their flamethrowers and MP40 seem to be doing okay. Uh, grenade is thrown on the lieutenant. Does a little bit of... Well, just a little bit of an explosion, but not much in terms of really anything major. Anyway, VP-wise, again, the Germans are currently down about 100 points. On the far right, we have another counterattack with heavy mortars, thanks to the assault officer, I assume, which did retreat. Uh, shock troops, though, are on standby, and we still have the mor a heavy mortar NMG, and he doesn't have any smoke abilities, as far as I can tell. He does have a strafing run, but again, it's recharging still, and he doesn't have the resources to bring that in. Artillery, though, is firing, paying the Gradir, sending it back. Gradir opening fire on the shock troops. Volk squads lighting up, but gets hit. That's the white phosphorus I'm thinking of. Uh, again, wearing down their health very quickly. A soft G section while they did take damage. Moving on in against the injured Volk and trying to shred that infantry. Syaska, thank you very much for the follow. Pushing on against the Sturm. The Thompson forces should be enough to shred this Sturm Pioneer squad. As you can see, just demolishing him and the half track as well coming on in but again needs to close that gap for more damage they luckily those troops don't have like the uh the penalty for moving like other forces do uh again we have the jlis as well uh forced to retreat finally the germans are starting to get armor uh let's see he has the officer for smoke true but like i said the officer retreated back to base when that occurred so we know he did not have that option Sure, he has the unit and the ability to use it, but that unit was on retreat, so he didn't have it to drop smoke on the point anymore, right? It's like it's like saying that, yes, technically you have three German panzers ready to go, but uh, those German panzers are still in production and are not on the field. Technically, you have a panzer four, it's just not on the field yet, so it can't really help you. 
But the nut, but having one uh, again, that's like, oh, okay, he means business. Luckily, the Americans do have a Sherman, and it is uh, doing quite a bit of business. Uh, Sherman, by the way, is high explosive rounds, which makes it easier to uh, shred infantry. But like I said, another Panzer IV uh, pops onto the field from Sauerkraut, gets a great shot on the Sherman, bringing it down to about 55% health. Panzer IV continuing against the infantry section, tries to go for a wipe, does not have the pintle, makes it a little bit harder to kill infantry. But Volk Squad trying to go for it. Down to two models, very low on health. The Vet 3 Rifleman barely survives that encounter. Very, sh honestly, a little bit shocked that he made it out. We also have an M10 by Weeb, which is not the best tank destroyer, but what it does is make up for in numbers. Now, I, I should say it's not Wolverine, sorry, M10 Achilles, right? So, again, at least I should have enough firepower to hold back some additional armor. Cromwell is engaging the Panzer IV, but the real kicker is not the Panzer IV... Uh, finally Cromwell, it's the uh, support infantry, and that would be the Royal Engineer as well, helping against the Panzer IV. But this one decided to re uh, to focus on uh, the Cromwell after, you know, the Sherman battle. Came over, did a uh, decent amount of help. And while Piot shots and grenades did hit it, no engine crit, which means it can react to this. Which, by the way, he does have 17 kills, so suffice to say, he has definitely proved his worth. In terms of this unit, Vet 3, nothing to sneeze at. Just absolutely causing havoc. So, it's definitely, although I think a lot of their kills came in from the artillery. But, hey, still pretty good, all things considered. Panzer IV really trying to turn the tide. But M10 and Sherman back up to operational status after uh, the vehicle crew repaired it. Doing its best to hold. On the far side, we got a Volk Squad and a uh, Obel Sadaten. That just got hit by Half-Track. Forced back. Again, don't blob. Very simple. Also, uh, also done. I'm surprised you didn't throw a white fo- well, it's not a white phosphorus, but it's the equivalent of a white phosphorus grenade on this. So that way, you don't, um, the, the unit can't shoot you and you stop its main gun. Just saying. Uh, so. Let's see. Uh, that guy is running for his life carrying that 1919. Absolutely. But he made it. Shock troops pushing on in. Saw officer just suppressed. Again, free smoke. You can use a free smoke, but nope, decides not to. Alrighty, so, uh, we have, uh, shock troops pushing on in. While the Panzer IV is on standby. And coming on over, another Panzer IV. A lot of Panzer IVs makes it not great for the Germans long term. I really hope AMX is getting something. Okay, he's getting a Werfer, but again, that doesn't, that still is slightly concerning. Oh, well, at least he has a pack gun. Although that pack gun's being held back by shock troops. So what do I know? On the far side, we have a M10 that got absolutely wrecked. I'm assuming by the Panzer IV. Not by the... Hold on. Oh, me, no. Not sure what killed this M10, Achilles. But I do know that that uh, half-track and the assault officer just got put down by that Panzer IV. So great shots across the board. Looks like Sauerkraut is slowly turning the tide. This M10 looks like took some massive damage as well. But even though it is very low on health, it did manage to survive and pull back. Same thing uh, with this infantry section as it engaged the infantry and in, uh, Panzer IV. Germans coming back slowly but surely. They're still down heavily in VPs, but at least they're getting in a good number of hits to slowly turn the tide, right? Although, to be fair, you say that, and Hawaii just pops out a T-34-85, which is main gun and armor that ma just makes it better than a Panzer IV, even an OKW Panzer IV. But, counterpoint to that is a couple fouls that crippled its engine and now made this Panzer IV maybe a little bit more likely to do something against it. Not saying in a direct confrontation they'll do amazing, especially with the AT support. But combine that with the other one? Yeah, we could maybe see something. But uh, pack gun as well hitting the T-34. Really, the pack guns and the AT guns are holding back the armor. Panzer Force really need to focus on the FG section to stop the pack gun from dying. Uh, saw officer as well maybe do something. He's just watched. Panzer IV is trying to go for a kill shot, but unfortunately the models just don't agree and dodge it. Pack gun still firing. Again, can't button it or stop it from retreating, but again, just the consistent damage is enough to cause havoc for the Germans. Conscripts moving on in. Pushes back the uh, Pioneer. Assault officer on standby moving on in. MG suppresses it again. Do we finally have smoke? I can't tell. 
No, he called in like a direct barrage from the Werfer, I believe. Because it's about to fire. But Hawaii, realizing this, decides to get that guy there. And while it is under uh, our heavy artillery fire, it doesn't really matter because all of it missed. Luckily, Hawaii's reaction time was pretty solid. Um, unfortunately, uh, was that an M10 that died? I think it was. I am pretty sure an M10 just died. Oh, wait. No, was it a Panzer IV? It was a Panzer IV. Bouncing. Panzer IV does uh, kill the M10. Alas, T-34 going for the kill shot. Another Panzer IV coming on in. So both of pa Panzer IVs by the other gentleman did perish. Now, you could say Grey Shots, okay, maybe they can take the M10. Well, unfortunately, I, I don't think so. I think with the infantry on standby right here by Metro, you're going to see... Uh, wait, no. Metro pulls back, or at least is more preoccupied with the territory. I would shoot and kill this if I was him. Because you don't want the enemy to get an M10, right? I mean, okay, maybe you do as a troll move, but you may maybe not. Uh, we also have a Comet by Metro. Panzer IV cannot fight that by itself, especially with Jackson's support. Uh, Rakadmurfer does get, does get a few shots on target. I don't think, yeah, no. Comet, though, is too fast to, for it to handle. Panzer IV needed to keep backing up. Though, great shot. Oh, my God, he's so lucky. Rakadmurfer came in clutch, dodging as well. Achilles going in, again, using its uh, flanking speed. Out of control. Another shot. Does hit th the M10 Achilles. We just mass deploying them, and they are slowly becoming effective. Even if they die consistently. But still, they are at least being somewhat effective. So, pretty good. Infantry section is, looks like it's going to kill that Rakadim He doesn't retreat. There is still another Panzer IV in the back. Uh, but where's the armor? Okay, so we do have a couple armored units. The Panzer... A lot of Panzer IVs this game. The Panzer IVs over in City by Mr. Gandalf are still combat effective and are still helping. And Sauerkraut has that. But Genesis... Oh my god. Gen Genesis actually has a healed Wolverine heading back to line. So you can technically repair it. It does have a vehicle uh, repair ability, right? And it looks like most of the men are busy with this Tiger Tank by MX. So it looks like the SU-85 and the T-3485 and, and the ZIS gun managed to drive it away. Again, with a t even though you have a Tiger Tank, you still need proper support. And it looks like most of the support is back at base. Warfer, though, is coming back up to the front. I do like how he retreats. That's very good. Um, also, the British took, took the uh, German pack gun. This Tiger, my god, two kills. Just can't hit these guys. Warfer fires, though, aims way off. I guess he thought they would immediately retreat, but that was not the case. Now I'm going to focus on killing the cash, which I th except for this one might be the yeah, they're, they're the only German caches. Meanwhile, the allies do have a fuel cache here, another cache here, thanks to Metro. Again, resource-wise, the Germans have a small lead in fuel, but with that point gone, uh, that diminishes a little bit. Oh, I'm so, yeah, and actually AMX is getting resources thanks to the supply truck. So he actually does have an advantage. Well, that wasn't the artillery. Oh, the artillery was not the Werfer. I thought it was... Oh, coordinate barrage. No, okay, that's what he's using. But he's using the Werfer to pop the flare so that way the Werfer fires in that general area. So, anyway, we got a free Piot right here, I guess. But again, Volk Squad's already at full capacity with their weapons, so they can't pick it up. We have ourselves M10, though. A German M10, because why not? Uh, I don't think it'll last very long. It's the, you know, Pia Force, but we'll see. Maybe it could be actually very good against the... I, I, I don't, okay, I, I, I can't even see that with a straight face. It might be good against the 85. We'll see. We shall see. Back in the city, German forces have been pushed out with British forces cap capturing the VP. Uh, Germans... Would be down 350 points, roughly. So that's pretty substantial. Again, right now, you need an area to dominate. Right now, uh, T-34 coming in to dominate this Panzer IV. M-10, though, takes the shot for his ally. Probably the, the Soviets are like, wait, the Germans are getting lend -lease? What? But, no. Uh, M-10 backing on up. Tiger Tank coming on in, though. Could put this in jeopardy if he forces himself in. 
Uh, again, Conscript forced back by the Tiger. S285 and T34. Now I have to figure out what to do. Again, pulling back might be the best option because you don't want the Tiger to flank you. Especially when most of your frontline forces are pulling back. In mid, we have a heavy barrage thanks to the direct strike. Thanks to Sauerkraut. Does delay the allies from capturing the territory, but not for very long. The, the, the Major just gets right back on that point and to decap it. Uh, Jackson on standby to fire at the Panzer IV. Grenadiers on standby. Sh slowly shredding the Major. Nice bottom grenade on the Rifleman. Uh, brings on health down to 50%, but only one model lost. Sherman now firing. Or Cadenworth for moving on in. It is a recruit. Another Panzer IV. Just chilling. I guess he's worried about the Jackson. Shrek teams though flank the Jackson. Hold on. Uh, bottom grenades thrown and they're going to retreat. Very low on health. And Jackson uh, forces back the Panzer IV. No AT snare from the rifleman. They weren't close enough. We do have a strike coming on here. Hold on. It is a sector assault. I think this is a waste. There is nothing keeping the allies in this territory. And the infantry, eh, I mean, don't really have to worry. It attacks enemy armor predominantly. So you're not really, yeah, it, it'll cause a little suppression, but you're not having to worry about the armor and most of the strikes there. So I, I don't know. I, I Sure, the Germans will take it, but it's not like the allies are losing that much, right? Usually you do it so that way the, the, the fighters and the, and the Stukas rain hell upon everything and that way you could get a decisive battle a decisive you know uh victory against your opponent right but in this case the allies just pulled back and oh oh Q, i'm sorry qlar at least has enough to replenish and we definitely has enough to replenish with 700 manpower so we'll see uh i'm curious to see if we get something more substantial let's say comet but again we'll, we'll have to see how that goes all right Panther and Tiger on standby. Panther moving on in. Fires. Alright, gets a good pen. So too does the Panther. S-25 still undergoing repairs. We have a uh, Comet, but Panzer IV actually not doing too bad. Oh, hits the mine on the Sherman, breaking its engine. Again, not too shabby, all things considered. Get some good shots. Panzer IV pulls back. But, and right now the Germans have the VP. Is If they keep holding that, and right now, keep uh, holding a good amount of fuel and munitions, they have a small advantage right now. They might be able to slowly turn this, but again, they have to not sacrifice armor. But they have Shrek teams on standby. Maybe they get a great shot, who knows. The enemy caused our supply line. But again, what we shall see. Jackson opens fire on the Panzer IV with 15 kills. Pretty solid. And Vet 3. Oh, oh. Again, the higher the Panzer IV better to see, the better chance the Axis will be. But Soviets are not done yet. They have their, themselves a Katusha, and Hawaii will be a pop cap. Kular is close to pop cap using Priest Fire to blast the Germans away from this center point, and specifically, I think, get the MG off this. We have N10 diving on in. We have a full charge. M10 versing a Jackson does kill it. I never thought I would see that battle, but we just did. Uh, and honestly, not a bad trade for a free piece of armor. But again, it depends on if the uh, the uh, allies can easily get another Jackson. And it, while it will take a little bit of time, Qlar does have the resources where he can get one, only one, and that's if he doesn't replenish his men. So it's I would say something that would cause a little bit of havoc for him. Looks like a mine went off and near that Panther. Pa Panzer IVs, even though they're weaker, are holding back the Comet. And again, they're uh, wearing down the infantry so they don't get snared. Great shot by the Panzer IVs. Again, I will also give a shout out to the Assault Infantry section with 35 kills. Um, Conscript's not doing too bad either. They have 22 kills respectively. This one is 3. Uh, T-34 is 20. Um, let's see. Anything of note for these guys? 22 for the Werfer. 34 for AMX's Grenadiers. Not too shabby. Uh, Sauerkraut has 18 on the Sturm. Panzer IV, again, 15. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers with 17. Rifleman with 24. Let's see. Anonymous Delta donated $5. 
Thank you very much. Uh, no. But, I will say, uh, by the way, again, if you are going to donate, the donate button is down below on Twitch. They added it so it goes directly to the charity fund. Uh, but thank you for the $5. I'll put that in to the charity so that way it does go in. Uh, but thank you. Alright, Panzer IV slowly wearing down the, uh, infantry section. Again, Germans, with their armor, are making a decent comeback. And, uh, it depends if they kill this. Wait, direct strike comes in and doesn't hit too much. It... The Germans just pushed through and are very lucky he didn't actually get a crit. No mines here, so the Panzer IV could move. And uh, the Panther could move on in. But the problem would be this snare, right? If this thing does get an armor piercing shot and they snare, then this Jackson could finish it off. So he needs to be very careful. QLR as well needs to be careful not to lose any more men. His reserves are quite low. Comet as well moving on left. Seems they want to push for this more open area. And that makes sense. Right now there's very little stopping a combined arms advance by the British. On the far right, the Soviets, though, are doing everything they can to hold back the determined AMX. And AMX uh, still ha has a Panther, a Tiger, a number of different key forces. But the Soviets are no slouches. They have the Shock Troops, a Conscript that's heroically throwing an AT grenade, even though it, it died. Um, air support coming on in to push back the uh, German forces. Again, a lot of armor taking a lot of hits. Comet and Sherman on, on standby. Jackson moving on in. Again, range is something that the Allies have more so than the Axis. So as long as they can keep the distance away from him, that's fine. But right now, Rakad, we're first coming on in. But Infantry Blob, not much to stop with all the armor backed up. So they can easily kill the Rakad Murfer, even though he is still shooting them. They can easily push it back then and also spread out your men. My god. Q, you're, you're, you're really killing yourself right now. Artillery fire is coming on in. White Phosphorus as well, so the MG probably will not survive too much longer. Panzer Force kept in the fight as long as they could, but unfortunately, uh, they just couldn't take as many hits as they may like. Panzer Force, though, by Mr. Gandalf moving on in. But damage has already been done. We've captured the territory very effectively. So, excellent job right there. On the far right, the Soviets continue the, the battle, but it's been a push and pull, but they have been holding. Let's be very clear. The Soviets have held their territory uh, against overwhelming um, assaults from um, Amex to where he's lost uh, some infantry. So too has the Soviets, and now they have uh, air support to suppress. 178 resources coming on in. They're getting double munitions right now and a lot of territory from pushing on in behind enemy lines. Looks like a 240 came in right here or something. Hold on. Oh, railway. Railway killed some units. Damn. All right. German force is trying to make a comeback. With the air support, maybe? No, you know what? The Soviets are still clinging. They they do not want to lose this point. They have more conscripts with three models coming on in. MG still firing everything it has. Although, we're for hits. Two models remain. That's more than enough men. That's more than zero. And they effectively push back the assault officers. The Soviets will hold the VP... Again, right now the Axis are at 69. Nice. And uh, the Allies are still uh, very high at 345. Again, currently that would take 45, again, 45 VPs a minute. So doing quick math right there, it would take, eh, you know, just almost, a, well, it would be slightly, slightly less, but it would take roughly eight minutes for them to turn the tide of consistently holding three VPs, right? Or about 11 minutes with a little over 11 minutes with two so they need to substantially uh turn the tide and hold the vps for a good long period of time german forces again uh major just uh, hello major hopefully doing well uh po uh posting chat a lot of panzer force and i agree there are a ton of panzer force we have three right there we have a, an additional let's well okay technically you know we have the panther and tiger uh, and Genesis has two. So we have five Panzer IVs. Typically, that's a little bit harder for the Germans later on as the Allies get more tank destroyers. But as long as they have Rakadwerfers or pack guns and other things to counteract the Jackson's range, I think they'll be okay. But it's really this infantry. This push by Q is slowly shredding the Rakadwerfer. Panzer IVs, though, moving on in to counteract the Blob. And again, Major on standby, waiting, just waiting for his time to strike. We have another Panther push along this fr uh, front. 
Throwing grenade on the MG. We'll do some damage. Not oh, okay. More health damage than I thought, but still two models remain. On the far side, Soviets make a fierce counterattack to take back the VP. Tiger slowly being healed on the front. Maybe Katusha could really punish that. But uh, suffice to say, Soviets at least hold that territory. As also the Americans and British launch a major assault. Knocking out a Panzer IV, right? Riflemen doing what they can to shred the infantry to clear away for the armor. There are two Comets, a Sherman and a Jackson. They have the firepower. It looks like they might take punish this uh, Panther. Panther trying to back on up. Comet diving in. Hold on. We have a direct strike right here. But they're still advancing. Panther's not dead. He can still be recruited and healed. British forces moving on in. Are they going to try to steal a Panther? They've already stolen a, a M10. A Panther would be a much more serious stake, but we'll, we shall see. Assault officer. No, oh, sorry, assault officer. Assault infantry section. Continues to try the infantry. The unit does eventually die, which is good. Comet tank moving on in. How many comets does Metro have? Okay, just, just the two. One is barely alive. This new one is trying to push back the Panzer IV. By the way, Panzer IV, Vet IV. Nothing to sneeze out right there. Air support coming on in. That's mostly Axis planes strafing as well. We can see here that not only is it anti-strafe, which will, uh, sorry, anti-infantry, which will uh, suppress infantry, but it's also sector assault, which will try to push back armor as well. So, right now that's going to cause them a little bit of havoc. Uh, Panzer IV is moving on over against this infantry. Remember, this infantry has no effective AT except for this white phosphorus grenade, which will stop the armor from firing so long as they're not in it. Um, as long as they back out, out of it, they'll be fine. Panzer Force maybe move up to punish this assault infantry section to kill it, but so far they've been unable to kill the models. Comet take on standby, pushing back the Pioneer. We have a Royal Engineer uh, that decides to retreat. Surprised he didn't try to hold. Hold on, Comet flanks the Panther, causing a little bit of havoc, hurts the Pioneers. Again, right now, Amex is down significantly in frontline forces. We can see here, again, no Grenadiers to speak of. Soviets still have shock troops and conscripts. While their armor is weak with the SU-85 and T-34 as well, pretty low. They're still able to keep fighting and pushing on in, killing this cache probably, because I'm assuming that this armored force won't come back until it's fully operational. Let's see right now. But that being said, wait, are you moving up? Weave is like, you know what? I don't have, uh, all my assault MG section is healing on up. I'm gonna send my mortar up to the front by itself. It can do wonders. Sure, buddy. Anyway, uh, Panzer IVs are hauling down. Uh, they, again, they're just locking themselves down into the, uh, dirt. Adding additional barricade stuff. This does extend their range in sight, uh, just to give an idea. This increases it by 25% range and 25% receive damage against it. Problem is, can't move, right? It's stuck there. So, luckily, if the allies can concentrate their artillery, uh, whether it be a just normal barrage or a creeping barrage, I feel like they could do quite a bit of damage against these static targets. But we'll see if they're able to force themselves, uh, or force artillery on that position. Heck, even major artillery would just maybe give that man a, a, just a panic attack. Because, again, he could drop flares and be like, oh, shoot, there's a direct strike coming on in. I need to run. So, just something to keep in mind. Uh, speaking of running, uh, still entry section runs like hell. Great shot! Oh my lord! Who was? Oh, uh, priest! Priest firing right on the front. Don't blob your men. That the reason why is all your men will be blown to little bits. And the Obosadan truly had a bad day with losing most of their men. Uh, speaking of which, Sauerkraut also losing a quite a considerable amount of men, down to four units. Uh, but a newly uh, made King Tiger will push it up to five. Still not a huge army. Relatively speaking, about the same I typically have in a KOTU game. But not very big in any capacity. Railway came down in mid. Again, Axis doing a decent job of slowly wearing down the allies. But again, they're at now 65. Not very nice uh, in terms of the allies. The Axis... So, sorry, the Axis are. The allies are at 270. So still a long way to go before we start seeing... A shift in the tide, right? Before it comes down low enough to where it actually flips. SU-85 coming on in to hopefully snipe the tiger. While the armor for the comet maybe pushed along the flank. Spotting scope is turned on so we can see farther. Which reveals all the armor. Comet moving on in. Again, we're seeing a 2v1 action. I get why Metro is doing this. They want to defeat an opponent. And right now, that can be done here. Hold on. 
Panther goes down thanks to the combined of efforts of the British and Soviets. Tiger heading back to base. Again, does not have the resources to easily get up a uh, another Panther. Has fuel for days. I'm not denying 700 fuel. Nothing to sneeze at, but manpower is key later on in the game as you start losing men thanks to more serious firepower. And right now, Amex does not have the capacity or the capability to uh, counterattack. So what do you do? Well, uh, honestly, I think he should go defense and do more raid action. But again, I, I'm i curious to see how that fares, right? Also, Sauerkraut's now pushing in mid with his King Tiger. Again, his one vetted infantry, his last one remaining. Might be able to get a Faust on that Centaur. Uh, no, he doesn't. But again, I don't know what you would do. Do you charge up with your Panzer IV? I, I don't know. All right, we got British uh, air support coming on in. And artillery. On the retreat on the almost Sadatin. Almost kills two squads. Very close to. But does push them back. Again, right now, uh, with the forest uncontested, uh, and the tiger, as Ch as Ronnie said, running with its tail between its legs, is going to retreat. And, uh, yeah, no, it's going to be a while before it comes back in. Again, I think as long as the British and Soviets are here, you're not taking forest. Now... Does that significantly alter the course of the game? Well, let's see. Right now, we have Sauerkraut, right, fighting in left. He's not going to come over. And I say that just because here... Um, what is it called? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Genesis, my apologies, has King Tiger himself, right? But he's not fighting in force. He kind of left it, right? Uh, so he's kind of been fighting in this area for the VP, mostly, right? So that's left the British able to do whatever it wants. Now the British are like, okay, we beat that other guy. We're going to come in and now fight in mid. And while the Tiger is advancing, I mean, it's not doing all that much. There's one fresh recruit on the front. And Soviets, while they're still healing their men, uh, have shock troops moving on in and artillery just pounding it. So that Grenadier is easily going to be forced back. Where for fires... Again, just kind of a scatterbrain effort just all over the place. Doesn't really hit anything so I yeah no again he keeps trying but it's not working more British air support coming on in very nice King Tiger down to about a third of its health again strafing support pretty solid tank commander thank you very much for the follow artillery hang the double sedan they were patiently waiting and the rocket just went a little bit above its area of effect and hit it awesome shot also priest fire in the area I also realized Genesis is getting three Obel Sedan. That's very expensive. That's very expensive heavy infantry to just start mass producing. But what do I know? Panzer IV now being hit by rockets. Again, on the far side, we have a Centaur. Uh, Centaur. A Comet trying to push back one Panzer IV, but two more on standby. But so too is another Comet. Will the Comets win or the Panzer IVs? Honestly, Panzer IVs are injured. I give it to the Comets. Especially because right now it's a front armor engagement. So again, if you're going by just who has more likely to bounce, even though all those Panzer shots, you know, actually penetrated, I, I would give it to the Comets. But we'll see. That one's very low. Probably. Yep, there it goes. Now it's a 2v2 game. Faust hits it. Wait, are we seeing a pack gun? No. Bounce. Bounce. Comets kill the Panzer IV. Bounce again. That, that, I was waiting for that. For all the bounces to come into play. Now this Comet easily can fight this other Panzer IV one-on-one. -on -one. Smoke is dropped, but this Comet does not care. And it's actually the Jackson that kills that Panzer IV. Reducing Mr. Gandalf's army to just two. And, un and while the Assault of G section push on to this area, uh, yeah, no, Soviets have this location, and the middle area is contested. Pretty much going to slowly wear down the Axis, and then eventually more and more as they, of course, grab more territory. So this is pretty much a GG at this point. Yep, I, 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 I call GG. All righty, well that is game. All right, not a bad game, all things. Uh, considered again, I think Panzer IVs would have been slightly better 
if that gentleman would have went heat rounds, right? Or something like that to really just kind of the the main pro uh, the main thing is is like you need to make sure they can pen and still have like a bonus. And I think heat rounds would have allowed that, but again, that's not it's 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 an austere player, right? So you're not you can't do that. So if you don't have heat rounds, what else? Uh, Panther pack on support. Something like that to give you an edge. Even a Stug. I know a Stug is like a weird choice, but you could button the Comets, right? You could get two Stugs, roughly, and they could help button or, you know, uh, pin the Comets to make it so that way the Panzer Fours and the Stugs can keep firing shots. And the extra round of Salvos could easily have turned the tide. But uh, just something to think about. Again, a Panzer Fours are great versus infantry and medium armor, but once you get to the heavier varieties, you need something to even the playing field a little bit. Thank you, humans, by the way. Uh, or sorry. Aeon's Humans, uh, 2000 for the follow. Uh, but you need something to help turn the tide to give you that edge. And unfortunately, Mr. Gandalf didn't have that. Nope, I will say Sauerkraut, top damage. Top kills does go to AMX. I thought, again, he's versing a Soviet, so he does have a few more kills. But um, yeah, I mean, he did fine. I think that Hawaii did a great job on defense. By the way, Hawaii, thank you for submitting this replay. Um, again, top damage. And top kills actually goes to Qlar. His American infantry with the 1919s were pretty solid. But shout out to the priest that was able to annihilate that blob of infantry with a great shot. Again, shotgunning with a priest, very hard to do. Uh, but as a skilled, uh, if you're a skilled American player, like we have Major in the chat. So again, he can attest. Uh, you can get some great wipes, just like a Katusha. So anyway, uh, Panzer IVs did get decent kills, although the losses were substantial. And next didn't lose his Tiger. I'll give him that. He never lost his Tiger. So... Ronnie donated $15. Thank you, Ronnie. Very kind of you. Good, sir. I'll double check here to see what we're going to be doing here in a minute. Uh, let's see. We got Metro with the Comets. We got QLAR coming in with the Jacksons with, uh, again, and they did pretty well. Weirdly, I thought the M10s were both like a mixed bag, though I will say the German M10 killing the Jackson. Pretty nice stuff. That, that was pretty funny. Weeb, again, his uh, Comets, pretty solid. Ne they never died, and again, decent kills. Uh, and why again, 30k for the SU-85, never died. That's a, a single SU-85 getting that much damage. That's actually really impressive. So great job right there, Hawaii. But overall, good game. I thought this was a... Actually, I thought the Germans did a really good job with the counterattack, but I feel like they needed... Again, they were getting lucky with some of their engagements with the medium armor. They still needed a Stug or something. And I also thought Metro coming over to help Hawaii against AMX and Genesis not really sticking up for him or doing much to help was really the decisive blow because with that opponent gone, right, then some Soviet forces and all of um, Metro's forces then were able to preoccupy mid and that was just GG at that point. So anyway... That's game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This has been GrayShot17. About to subject myself to all sorts of stuff. We shall see. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is GrayShot17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters. Joey G240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you. And... To the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.